Hey guys and welcome back to Let's Play EU3 and in the last part the Holy Roman Empire formed as we can see right here so now the question is whether they can keep this together or whether they will fall because if we take a look at the diplomatic map mode click on Holy Roman Empire this is the these are the only cores they have so that'll be interesting to see um, Polotsk seems to be falling apart um, well that's most of the interesting news oh, yeah, we're gaining missionaries now so we can finally start converting well let's see what is our inflation it's at zero we're losing inflation but I'll still go for the compete chance because it'll be low anyway because of our high infamy Yes, I have a nice cup of tea. Um, how expensive are the manufactories? Oh, pretty expensive, so it seems. Um, yeah, this is a decent province too. Uh, so, wills. Some weather, huh? Yes, we've had some uh, awful um, weather here in the Netherlands. It's ridiculous. Like thunderstorms and rain and hail and that stuff. So yeah, that wasn't too nice. The Granada versus Brittany. Hmm. Now let's look at the religious map mode, because Catholicism is still. Um, oh yeah, I can't see these. Uh, is still slowly spreading into um, Spain. Oh, I've never seen this religion before. Cardite. It's interesting. Yeah, Orthodoxy is pretty much wiped out except for Cyprus and Greeks. That's interesting. Wow. Iraq look messed up in the name does. Uh, let's see, what do we have here? Shite, we have a lot of seek over here, but I might convert that later on. Let's see, a lot of Confucian. But overall, I think Sunni is by far the most dominant religion mm. um, Islam in general so yeah but we can start converting now so I'll think I think I'll start on the African coast and then work my way into uh, I think this first Because Hindu gives bonuses to tax. Oh, to tax, not production. Right. Wait, did we have. No. Thought that maybe we had some missionaries there. Oh, there we go. Inherited Tangu. 
This is very nice. Look at that. It looks very nice, doesn't it? Uh, let's see. Wait, why couldn't we do this? Oh, administration of six. Ah. Can we change our government yet? Ooh, we can! Hmm. Because... Uh, let's see. I'm thinking of changing to the Republic. But I'm not sure. Or administrative um, monarchy. Because look at it, it only is. It would only cost one stability. And it would give me plus 10% production efficiency instead of an infamy limit of plus 10. It gives me double the magistrates and it takes less years to change policies. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Oh, I thought my infamy shot up there, but that was because of the limit going down. I mean, 32 is still more than enough. And it only takes 10 years to regain that, so... Yeah! I think we can really use the... Um, production efficiency. Mamluks are big. Great spirit zealots. Well, good luck. So I'm still kind of... Um, Syria and Adal. Guaranteed by the Ottomans. Oman and the Mamluks Seville. This is... Wait, were they allied with Najd? No. Hmm. So I could probably grab this, and then with this army, although four levels are one all, all of four level one, and then we have a doll here. Ooh, Is my mouse going. And Oman will be the biggest problem, but but they have very little manpower. So even if they landed, we have uh we have like three big armies over here that could probably take them on. Hejaz here itself. I won't invade Hejaz itself, I think. Are these cores? Yes, they are. So, they will take a bit of war score. It is very tempting. Let's see. Um, tribal conquest is 25% infamy. So, that it would give, all of this would probably give me 8. So, I would still need to wait a bit. Um, oh, that's great. So either we lose all our money and we'll have to take out a loan, or we lose two stability. Hmm. Let's see. Can we get a good stability guy? Level 2, that sucks. Um, well, I'm still going to do it and then do that. Don't want to lose all my money. Mm, let's invest it. Uh, let's actually do this. Majpite is getting quite big, actually. But they'll probably fall. Notched versus Orange. Ooh, who are they all at war with? Orange and Adal. Hmm. And you Tibet. Brittany was Magdalena. Oh, wow! We know about North 
Oh, we know a lot about America. I didn't know that. So, Normandy is invading Brittany here. No, that makes no sense. Um, as you can see, uh, this is usually Falklands, but I have a mod called the... Um, colony name change mod, which automatically gives an event to change the names of colonies. Although... Yeah, you can see here these are... These are Dutch names, so I'm guessing... Brabant colonized this. Yeah, this is Austrian, this is a German-ish name. New Kent is... So it's a really li nice mod. But I don't think... Uh, well, it isn't completed yet. So, there. Oh, and this is also... Um, these... Uh, the Native Americans are now hordes, which means um, this has been fixed in a later patch for the MISC mods, but um, you will now automatically be at war with them um, if you border them, of course, because they're a horde. The thing is, though, because... Um, uh, because the AI never sends troops first, but first colonizes and then send the troops later. Um, the uh, Native Americans, which this all is only for North America, by the way. South American natives are still the same. They can easily um, reach the coast. And oh, there's the bell, so I'll be right back. Ah, sorry about that. I had to answer the door. Um, where was I? So yeah, they can reach the coast and gain more land. So yeah, which I don't. I don't mind the change because if you're playing um, as themselves, wait, that makes no sense. No sense. Um, if you're playing as a Native American nation it's probably easier to um, expand like that. So, Brittany seems to have um, expanded, uh, colonized a lot. Oh yeah, and this is a graphical glitch with the borders here. And as you can see here we have uh, Granada also colonized a lot. Yes, this was also all colonized by Brabant, Brabant, or maybe Friesland and then Brabant took it over. Because these are all, um, oh no, this is German, uh, yeah, Occitan, so this is an, a French nation. Yeah, this was all as well. Also, is this, and these are Hanoverian. So probably the Hansa colonized over here. So yeah, it's a really nice mod. It it really gives a nice um, nice flavor to the add some flavor to the game because you know, for instance, Manhattan would be called because today it's like Manhattan and New York, but. When the Dutch first colonized it, it was called New Amsterdam, of course, and that's reflected in the mod, which I think it's it's really good. But back to the game, we have a missionary. All right, uh, let's see. We have one there. We have one there. Do we have one there? Yes, we do. Uh, these aren't too high. We have one there. We have one here. I should probably do the gold ones first. Oh man. Georgia. And Georgia is Sunni. That's probably because they were taken over by the horde. By a horde. And then converted. That's also pretty annoying because you'd get. Um, 
you'd get a, a Sunni Russia, for instance. Which, I don't know, maybe they should imp implement something that um, ports can convert or something. Because now it makes no sense. Ooh, a doll annexed Ethiopia? Yeah. Durrani, that's over there. An army going that direction. Oh, and when I get the ruler for it, um, I might do military modernization. Which I can't because my rulers suck. Um, because it removes. What did it remove? It removes reactionary sentiment, which is. Um, gives you a lot of stability cost and a decrease in discipline. Which, of course, is bad. Especially when we're in a war. Ooh, Taiwan's a core now. It's very nice. Uh, do we have any buildings we can make? Any manufactories? How, how expensive? 1261. Don't think we will make that. Let's build some more temples. Why not? Ooh, another missionary. Uh, we have one over here, so let's send one over here. I'll get rid of the animism first. Can you... No, that's the Kalahari Desert. Britain, Congo, Norman Africa. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we're now bordering notched. Ooh, nice. Does a dog have anything interesting? Now this is all very poor. Ooh, Zimbabwe. Finished my tea. Prussia and all. I don't care. Yeah, Teutonic Order and Prussia both exist again. It's not too uncommon. And we're converting uh, quite uh, quickly. Which is nice. Indeed. Uh, let's see. Ah, good. That's not good, but... Um, is there any good... Oh, wow, he's very good. Hmm, how much infamy... Oh, wow, we're losing a lot of infamy here. Uh, let's see, can we get a better one? I doubt it, but... Yeah. What's this? Oh, it's interesting. Ooh, what's this? Shaibanidi nationalists. And yeah, Sheen and Sibir at war again, so Sheen might soon reach Polotsk. That's not too good. Mm -hmm. Let's just keep making temples. Ooh, Tungu. Tyra versus Tachibana. Well, it's not really of my concern. I'd rather have Minamoto um, annexed and Fujiwara bigger so they can unite Japan for once. 7,000 men. It's quite a bit. I have four colonists, but nowhere to send them to. Because I don't know the other coast, but I couldn't reach it anyway, so. And Persia is uh, doing quite well against the Mamluks. 
Head jaws will become a vassal notched. Oh, that's bad. Or is it? Because now... They're subject to notch. Oh, they're still allied with the Ottomans in our wreck. Oh, wow, notched and... Who is notched allied with? And what... You know, Boer culture. So I have no idea who originally colonized them, but... My guess is Oman, because they are Sunni, aren't they? Yeah. Um, notched. Were they allied with the Ottomans and Iraq? Alright, so... Yeah, we can probably attack them soon, because Oman couldn't intervene. Only the Ottomans, which are here, and Iraq, which is here. Or do they have any allies? Lithuania. But, yeah. Does Iraq have any allies? Athens? Hmm, nudged in Syria. So yeah, I think we're pretty safe. I'd still like to wait a bit. To let the infamy cool down some more. Do we have any embassy? Yeah. Um, we can probably actually make another... Manufactory, let's see, what's behind? Naval and production. Let's see. And production was the refinery, I believe. Uh, there we go. Oh, it was trade. Then it is the um, textile manufacturing. Yes. Wool, cloth, or cotton? Well, let's build it in Golconda then. Right. Non Syrian at doll. Oh, sweet. Another um, guy. Let's go for Masapa. Or Masapa. Alright. Uh, let's see. Oh, this looks uncolonized. Sweet. Ooh, and this looks uncolonized as well. Or the Holy Roman Empire has it. Oh, wow. Look at that. Something is defecting to the Holy Roman Empire. Panama. Oh, this. This is it. Don't know why. Ooh. They were first. I don't know. The Holy Roman Empire must have a massive, um, massive income. Yeah, they're higher than us. Because they have a big part of the Caribbean. So. But. You can see Occitan Patriots, Mayan, Mayan Patriots, uh, uh, more Occitan Patriots. Hanoverian Patriots, so here they're keeping everything together quite nicely, I mean they have some revolts here, some Krakowian and Regan nationalists, but, and here wait, uh, Croatian nationalists, but that's kind of to be expected, these are probably yeah, Arabic Patriots, so they're probably defecting Morocco, nothing too surprising, really. So, yeah. Uh, we have another guy. Oh, yeah, I could actually get some more manpower. Why not? Orange accepted peace with Iraq. Oh, wow! Iraq annexed orange. Let's see, notched Ottomans and Iraq. So we'd be at war with Iraq. Ooh, let's look at our army. Oh yeah, the Holy Roman Empire now is a larger army than I do. They have almost half a million men, which makes sense. Uh, let's see, notched is 23,000 men. Ooh. 
I could actually get ugly. Oh wait, they have 22. They have a tech of 22, we have a 28. No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine there. Um, Hejaz here is a thousand men, so that's not a problem. Uh, let's look at Iraq. Yeah, 10,000, so... I think we'll be fine. Ooh, slider change. Oh, wow. Notched across the uh, infamy limit. Uh, we're going to go free subjects, I think. Yeah. Because it gives a lot of tech bonuses. Ottomans versus the Mamluks. Oh, we can build a mint. Nice. Um, yes, military access from Iraq. Of course. Because now they can't intervene in a war. Or they can, but they'll probably lose 5 uh, stability. Ooh. Looks like uh, Barajos and Persia are at war. Well, let's look at who will win this naval battle. Oh, Persia did. I think. I don't know. Iberia is a mess. Holy Roman Empire doesn't seem to be expanding. It's probably a good idea. Uh, let's look. Mint. Is that here? Yes. What does Mint do? Local tax income. Why are all my tax things so low? Oh, I'm... No. That's weird. Let's look at Delhi. Oh, they have a post office, so I can't build a Mint. Right. There we go. That's probably better. Um, so let's go to the ledger and look at a look up my uh, ice tax. Yeah, Bihar and Kutch. Uh, let's look at Bihar. Yes, and then we'll build a mint there and Kutch. There we go. Get rid of the post office and build a mint as soon as possible. Huh. Right. Ooh. That's interesting. Um, let's see. Head Jazz. Tribal Congress. And I. With Notched. Oh, they're not a vessel anymore. So they're only allied with Notched. Ottomans and Iraq. With Notched having internal problems. And Iraq military access. And the Ottomans being. Well, not completely landlocked, but they're not going to do anything. Um, no, I'm not going to call my allies. Uh, let's see, how are their armies looking over here? few thousand, nothing too interesting. So, let's do this. Do we have a general? No. Ooh, but he's a... Pretty good one. So, let's invade. Um, let's raise war taxes and put this up. Uh, let's see, yeah, uh, only Notch joined, which I expected. Oh, Canada Patriots were apparently funded by me, but they... They weren't. Oh, but maybe they'll defect to me. Which wouldn't make sense, but I'll take it. Uh, let's see. What's besieged? Oh, Zimbabwe. Well, let's go there. We'll immediately take out their army. And they'll still arrive there first. Which makes very little sense to me, but... Well, actually, let's just detach a siege and split it in half. Then you will go here 
and then uh, let's see how are we going to do this you will just be one guy and then uh, see so you are moving and then you will be combined and go there there we go that should do uh, let's see yeah build them into the coach So now, we can all go there. Oh, there we go. We didn't even need it. 